Hello and welcome to the space. So um, a few weeks ago, I asked if there were specific topics that um, you wanted me to talk about and I got a whole lot of topics. Um, the first topic that I wanted to talk about today is actually from Lydia Osei. Um, you know, she was one of the first people to send me a list of topics that she would like for me to talk a bit more about. So thank you, Lydia, for your um, suggestions and um, on the topics that I could share about. So um, one of the first topics that Lydia asked me to share about is networking. I don't see myself as the best person when it comes to networking, but um, how I've tried to do it is what I'm going to be sharing with you all. And I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments um, in terms of how you um, have networked in the past or how networking has helped you. So first of all, let's start with a few myths um, about networking. I think um, one of the key myths is that networking is weird. It's like, you know, you're trying to get to know somebody that you don't know, you have no connection with, you don't know anything about them and you're trying to get to know them and it's just, it's, it just feel, feels weird. <laughs> so that's, that's one of the, the first myths that I wanted to talk about. Um, and the, 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 how to bust that myth is that I feel like networking is weird when you are looking at it selfishly, when you're only looking at it from what you have to gain from the relationships. I'm trying to get to know this person. I'm trying to connect with this person because I want X, Y, Z from the person. I think that makes it very weird. Um, it also makes it weird when we see it just as networking. I think if you shift to your perspective from I'm trying to network to I'm trying to build relationships, I'm trying to build um, a spectrum of relationships, right? So there's, think about this, um, people you don't know, and then people that you know very well, you have a really good relationship with. So that's like a spectrum of relationships um, out there, right? So networking doesn't sit in people that you know very, very well. It really comes from people you don't know very well. And so every little thing counts, you know, any small thing you can make an investment in counts. So, to to you're not trying to be BFFs <laughs> for the like the first time you're missing somebody you're not trying to be BFFs right so you know, think about it on that spectrum that I'm just I'm not trying to make this person that I don't know my best friend I'm just trying to know a little bit about them right so once you think about networking that way as a, you know a relationship building opportunity you think about it as I'm not only going into this because of something I'm going to gain, but because of something I, I may be able to offer as well. So that's the first myth. The second one is that networking is only, oh, no, only extroverts are successful at networking. And, you know, I, I think that's an absolute myth. Um, introverts are good at networking as well. I think the difference is that introverts do it differently right um you know you may be a really good listener you may not be talking as much and people love talking about themselves so if you're an introvert that is an advantage for you to listen right to to listen to other people and to really pick those nuggets out of what they're saying and to also you know kind of remember so what i would say is that if you feel you're an introvert and you know networking is not for you lean into your strengths lean into your strength of maybe you love data um you love information which means that you can keep track of people's names you can keep track of what they told you and you will remember a six weeks later when you see them or a year later when you see them right so lean into into those strengths maybe you're really good at build bonding one-on-one -on -one instead of you know bonding with 20 people at the same time so lean into that you know network one-on-one -on -one, leverage um you know small small settings you know um so the small things that you're really good at you can lean into that um the fourth thing is that um you know 
I don't have anything to offer you know I just I just finished school or I just started my career you know this person is so experienced um, you know there's there's nothing I can offer that person I think that's a myth um, if, if somebody is much more experienced than you one of the most important things you can offer the person is perspective and helping them you know um, bringing them down to earth making them more down to earth and helping them to see things from um, your perspective because they may have forgotten what it felt like to be you know if, you know fresh out of college or they may have forgotten how it felt like to be looking for a job and not finding any or to be going to an interview and not getting able to call you back so you have a lot to offer you have perspective to offer you know you have an opportunity to stay in touch you know um my age group if i'm networking with somebody who's much much younger than me it's great because you know there are things that i don't know right now there are things that i don't know are you know i'm supposed to be knowing <laughs> you know so um networking with somebody who's much younger than me gives me that perspective it helps me to um you know better manage a team of people who you know may include individuals like themselves so you do have something to offer i think the myth is that i don't have anything to offer because this person is so much higher than me and that's a big myth and then the last myth is that i mean who needs networking is not such a big deal <laughs> you know it is a big deal and i think um you know your 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 you may have heard the comment that your net your network is your net worth you know when you can call somebody to ask about their opinion about something or um i've used people in my network in so many different ways and i've benefited but i've also been able to give back um to those networks like um i could call somebody in my network network and say hey how do you do things at your company do you mind sharing um or um something happens like COVID happens and you can call somebody in your network and say hey do you mind if we sit down to brainstorm about this new thing that nobody knows how to handle and how we can we can both um you know come up with some ideas to solve it um so um networking is is actually really important so those were the four myths that i wanted to you know highlight now let's go to the tips on the things that have actually helped me um the first tip is that you need to change your perspective you know about networking i don't see networking as networking like oh i need to just go in there and get to know people i don't see it that way um i'm an introvert at heart and so you know in my mind you know just engaging with so many people at the same time is really frightening to me and not just frightening but it just feels disingenuous because i feel like i'm not doing anything meaningful so i changed my perspective from seeing networking just as networking to true relationship building you know there are people that i check on there are people that i try to remember some things that they've told me um there are people that i stay in contact with there are people that i still would like their linkedin posts and comments on it just to stay in touch and be you know um at the forefront of of their thoughts so <clears throat> i think the first tip is to shift your perspective from networking to you know relationship investments right so you're investing in the relationship like i said the relationship may not be at the bff stage but you know it may be starting and you, there are small things you can do to you know invest in that relationship so that's number one number two the second tip is that you know start before you actually need your network start networking before you actually need your network nobody wants to meet somebody day one and then the next day they're asking them for something it's just weird <laughs> so um <clears throat> invest in your network you know what what support can you provide them um how can you provide them perspective how can you um share your thoughts on different things with them how can you check in on them how can you invest in that relationship before you actually ever need that relationship um you know put yourself in the shoes of whoever you are networking with and think about it if somebody just got to know you today and tomorrow they're asking you to do a b c d e y um you know that would not 
feel great and you're more likely to say no. Um, the third tip is that figure out how you can be helpful. Um, you know, it's not about the grand gestures, right? People think I have to do something really big for this individual, but think about the person that you're trying to network with or the group or the organization or whatever that may be and think about what you have to offer. What can you offer in this, um, you know, um, relationship that you're trying to invest in and like I said it doesn't have to be just the grand gestures it can be really simple things like following following their career trajectory and being interested in what they're doing um, maybe they went and gave a speech somewhere or they just got promoted or you know something happened in their career that you can actually say hey I'm here and I'm seeing what is happening I'm proud of you um, so figure out how you can be helpful and don't only think about the grand gestures. Nobody really likes sneaky personal agendas, right? So people, you know, um, some people will try to network with you, but it's just so obvious that they need something from you and that's why they're networking with you. And that just does not feel great. <laughs> so... I think about networking the way that if somebody networks with me, you know, it will feel genuine and authentic um, to me. And I try to just do that as a starting point. Um, so the, the fourth point is, you know, how do you leverage existing opportunities? How do you leverage various channels? Um, how do you leverage other people that you know? Right, so networking is not just about going to a conference and networking with people. Networking is not just about, you know, sending somebody an email. There are so many ways that you can network. So, you know, and also think about the existing opportunities that you have. Maybe you're in the same, you know, um, you know, group with this individual, or you know somebody who is in the same group with this individual, you went to the same school, or you're interested in similar topics, you know, think about existing opportunities that you can use to network. Think about the channels, right? It's not just face-to-face. -face. Today in the, you know, in, in, in the situation that we find ourselves in a very hybrid type of world, you know, online networking works. Um, you could be networking with somebody who is miles away from you. Um, so think about the channel as well. And then lastly, um, practice, practice, practice. I cannot overemphasize that. You know, it would just feel weird when you start networking until you get used to it. You know, you, you find your way of saying hello, how are you doing, or picking up something. You have to find your own way of networking. And so you have to just practice. And what I want add to the practice is that you have to follow up and check in, right? So, you know, you meet somebody and they're like, oh, we'd love to grab coffee with you, or it would be good to catch up sometime follow up and say hey remember we met and you said it would be good to catch up sometime these are some of my availabilities i'd love to know yours so that we can um connect soon right so follow up and then checking in you know just checking in see how you're doing you know haven't seen you since we left that meeting i thought it was a really good meeting um let me know if you want to grab coffee sometime or let me know if you want to hop on a zoom and maybe just chat for 15 minutes or something like that and that's another tip when you are reaching out to somebody to try and schedule time um be specific and make it short <laughs> i've never had a 15 minute catch up that lasted for only 15 minutes or even when it lasted it lasted 15 minutes we agreed to do it again right so um just ask for a little bit of time hey do you have 15 minutes to catch up i just want to pick your brain on this topic or i just wanted to check in and see how you're doing or i would love to hear abc you know 15 minutes 20 minutes maximum 30 minutes um you know follow up and and make sure that you're checking in so these are my tips for networking honestly if you view networking as trying to build relationships it makes it so much more easier and doesn't make it just about you gaining something from the experience but also how you can also contribute to you know a different relationship so um i hope these tips help you lydia and anybody else who is trying to network out there um please share your comments on how you have networked and what has worked for you and really what resonates with you on this video thanks for joining the space